Coming up on Torrance today, our special visitors from Kashua continue to explore the South Bay, and I join them on their latest stops. It's been a couple of months since the Mary Kay Giordano Regional Transit Center opened. Do you know how to use it? We're here to explain. And looking for a new career? An electrical contractor helps transform lives at a local educational center. All this and more coming up right now on Torrance Today. Welcome to Torrance Today. I'm Kirk Lines. It's 4 p.m. on Thursday, August 10th. I hope you're wrapping up another great week. Thank you so much for joining us. Here's our first story. Student delegates from Kashiwa, Japan are busy touring the city, learning all about Torrance and what it has to offer. I tagged along for a day that started off with a little Torrance history. And so now I want to show you the picture of one of our Japanese farms. And this is the Amatsu family. The eight student delegates and their adult leader begin their day at the Torrance Historical Society Museum, learning about our city's history from the Omatsu Strawberry Farm to Torrance winning the All-America City Award back in 1956. <laughs> After a hula hoop workout, they get their steps in while exploring downtown, appreciating our historic homes and getting to see how different our high schools look compared to the ones back home. From here, it's views, views, views. From the penthouse at the Doubletree Hilton and from Los Arbolas Rocket Ship Park. This looks like the highlight of their day as they embrace the kid in them at the scenic playground. <laughs> the group then visits the Southern California Regional Occupational Center, where they learn about what education can look like outside of a traditional university setting. Now we're gonna go down to our sterile processing class and then we will finish in welding. And back at the West Annex, the young adults have a ball, picking out their outfits for their first square dancing experience while reflecting on another full day of fun. <laughs> Torrance is a very beautiful city, and Torrance uh, citizen is very kind for us. We went to the park, uh, which is located on the hill. We can see a very beautiful scenes, and we can play as a Kashiwa students. Torrance is a uh, very cold and it is very comfortable for me. Mm. Japan is too hot for me. I'm looking forward to uh, at Dodgers <laughs> and go to the Torrance Beach and so on. Everything. <laughs> The students get to test out their square dancing outfits tonight at a chili cook-off. What a way to experience American culture. It's been a couple of months now since the Mary Kay Giordano Regional Transit Center opened its doors to the public, but do you know how to use the five-acre facility? City Cable's Christine Lee took a field trip there today to help us all learn how to easily park and catch a ride. If you haven't been to the Mary Kay Giordano Regional Transit Center yet, I'll show you how easy it is to get from the parking lot to a bus. This is what you'll see as you make your way from your car towards the 8 bus base. The Torrance Transit Store is open Mondays through Fridays from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. It's a great place to buy or reload your tap cards, which is the simplest way to pay for your trips. There's also a large map inside the store letting you know where all the Torrance Transit routes go like the 10X, which takes concert goers and sports fans to the SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Soon, you can also purchase souvenirs featuring Torrance Transit here as well. As you make your way towards the bus bays, you'll see this information station filled with helpful tips like texting 41411 to get real-time bus information. You can also see when your bus is coming at the bay where it's expected. And if you're here outside the Torrance Transit store hours, you can buy your fare or buy or reload your tap cards at this kiosk as you wait for your ride. If you have an iPhone, simply go to your wallet, get a tap card, and add funds there. And if you have Android devices, download the Tap LA app. That's it. Just park, make sure you've got your bus fare or tap card loaded, find out what line you need to get on, and explore Torrance and beyond. I'm Christine Lee with Torrance City Cable. This facility took more than 15 years to build and bears the name of our former assistant city manager who passed away from cancer in 2019. 
Kids across the country are starting to go back to school, and we are counting down here in Torrance. The California Department of Public Health recommends students to catch up on routine vaccines before returning to their classes. Officials say your doctors will know what immunizations may be needed, and with COVID-19 cases on the rise again, they also recommend getting boosted against that lingering virus as well. LA County Department of Public Health offers free telehealth services that include delivering medicine directly to the person who needs it. For more information, go to publichealth.lacounty.gov. And just a quick reminder, the Torrance Historical Society is open late tonight and every Thursday night in August. From 5 to 8 p.m., Mike the Map Man will be back giving visitors a unique history lesson, which includes before and after photos of different spots throughout the city. The museum is located at 1345 Post Avenue. And while you're there, a local clothing store, Jaunts, is offering a Style Your Wardrobe Sip and Shop event during the same time. The boutique will offer shoppers its monthly signature cocktail drink. John's Boutique is located at 1223 El Prado Avenue. If you're looking for more seasonal fun, Torrance Summer Nights continue with another free concert. Andy and Renee, the duo, return on Saturday, August 12th to continue their Bob Dylan tribute. The singers held their 33rd annual Dylan Fest event back in May at the Civic Center, entertaining crowds for eight hours. Their upcoming concert takes place at 5 p.m. on Saturday at the Wilson Park Amphitheater, located at 2200 Crenshaw Boulevard. Torrance Theater Company's big summer production is taking place right now at the Armstrong Theater. Kinky Boots features music and lyrics by the Girls Just Want to Have Fun singer Cindy Lauper. It tells the timely story about how one can change the world if they just change their mind. The show runs through Saturday, August 19th, to buy tickets, go to TorrenceTheaterCompany.com. For any actors looking for their next role, the South Bay Conservatory is holding open auditions for its upcoming production of Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. The musical tells the story of an unjustly exiled barber who returns to 19th century London seeking vengeance. Auditions are on August 23rd and 24th at the First Baptist Church of Palos Verdes, with performances taking place at the James Armstrong Theater in November. For more information or to submit an audition form, visit SouthBayConservatory.com. The Torrance Unified School District is offering free meals all summer long. It's part of the California Meals Program that extends through the 2023-24 school year. Anyone ages 18 and younger can get free breakfast and lunch. You do not have to be a TUSD student. Just submit a meal application online and then stop by Torrance Elementary School located at 2125 Lincoln Street between 9 and 10 a.m. for breakfast and between 11 a.m. and noon for lunch. For more information and to submit an application, visit TUSD.org. As we head into the weekend, be sure to catch the latest episodes of Weekends in Torrance. On Friday, an electrical contractor invites City Cable to check out SoCal Rock's General Electrician program. I have a passion for this because I am an electrical contractor and this is my way of giving back to my community. Then the Torrance Unified School District hosts a unique teacher residency program that aims to better serve our communities. And on Sunday, it's Zumba time as Zumba Squad Torrance helps community members burn calories at the Katie Geisert Library. All this and more on Friday, Saturday and Sunday right here on Torrance City Cable. Still ahead, it's Therapy Thursday, and we'll take you to El Camino College, where a new program is offering students a great deal on a high-demand career, when we come back in 60 seconds. So we so were, were walking, walking to, school. to school. At, At the, the corner, corner, we waited, we waited for, for the traffic, traffic light. light. I started thinking about lunch. Mom packed me turkey and cheese. She's I smart. Really cheese pizza. But like at Luigi's. sometimes her mind wanders. They have this video game there, and Kate's got the high score. We should have a sleepover. Maybe I should pack my pajamas. I remember saying, Laura? Laura? I think I heard mom say something. The sign says don't walk. Sometimes it's so overwhelming. When, when we, we finally, finally got, got there, there, she gave me a hug goodbye. I really hope she doesn't I have really another, hope bad, we don't day have another bad day today. at school today. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. That's why there's understood.org, a free online resource for the parents of the one in five kids with learning and attention issues. Here you'll get personalized recommendations, practical tips, daily access to experts and more. 
Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. At the end of every episode of Torrance Today, we want to share a positive story that fits the theme for the day. On this Therapy Thursday, El Camino College unveils a new respiratory therapy program that is offering students a bachelor's degree for the first time. Before I even enrolled to the program, um, I used to have a passion for sick people and to, to take care about others. So that's the main reason why it made me look in between any other uh, healthcare careers. And this was uh, a good fit to it, especially because uh, we are there with the patients at all times. In the AS degree, we train the students here and give them all their technical skills they need. And the bachelor's will be a continuation and completion of that. Respiratory therapists run the machinery that breathe for patients. And it's a highly specialized field. We work with asthmatics, we work with people with emphysema. We also work with people with sleep apnea. The advantage of this school is that the students are, are gonna pay significantly less than some of the other universities. In fact, all the other universities. Makaro, who is the program's director, adds that the bachelor's degree portion is completely online, which allows students to advance their education and their career while maintaining a job and a personal life. For more information about the program, visit elcamino.edu. Well, that's our show for today. Let us know if you have a positive story to tell by emailing us at torrentstoday at torrentca.gov. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here on Monday with more news from and for our Torrance community. Have a good weekend.